My name is Devin Brock Montgomery and I am the Water Quality Program Manager at the Savannah Institute. The project that I'm focusing on right now we're calling the GLPF grant, which stands for Great Lakes Protection Fund. And this is a foundation that has funded a multi-year project, so 2021 to 2025, to reduce sedimentation and nutrient runoff into the Great Lakes Basin via agroforestry. We know that agriculture in general can be a significant source for nitrogen and phosphorus in the Great Lakes. And the idea is that by adopting agroforestry in communities within the Great Lake Basin, the reduced inputs like pesticides and fertilizer, as well as the increased perennial nature of the soil, so everything's not getting tilled up, those roots are staying in place and they're putting good sugars and carbons into the ground, stabilize and reduce sedimentation and nutrient runoff from these agricultural operations. A way that I really like to describe it is a constellation of goals within this process. And I never want to say that Savannah Institute alone is doing this because we have about 15 partners that we're joining with to make this work. The Great Lakes Protection Fund is an impact-based funder. So the idea is that we need to be as flexible as we need to be to make this work. It is about partnerships and meaningful change and establishing long-term supports in these communities for agroforestry. It is about managing and maintaining these projects 10, 15, 20 years from now. And it is about really using agroforestry as a solution, not only for climate change, but also to reduce nutrients, which wouldn't maybe necessarily be a clear line, which is why I love doing this work and connecting agroforestry to things like water quality. Whereas initially, you know, that may, maybe you wouldn't make that connection right off the bat. We're going to start with three demo farms. We are working with the River Edge Nature Center, based in West Bend, Wisconsin, as well as the Ozaki Washington Land Trust. That is gonna be creating our hub around this area, around West Bend, Wisconsin. We also have another demo farm going in in Western Michigan, a town called Shelby. And Nate Ayers, who is our partner at Chihuahua Permaculture Research and Education, is gonna be putting in a planting there as well. The idea is that once we have those demo farms established, that there will be support within the community and these things can find their own momentum with time. And to further that along, we're doing baseline monitoring of nitrogen and phosphorus using something called a resin lysimeter. And in conjunction with the research department and Savannah Institute, we're gonna be doing some modeling on both a watershed scale and a county scale to kind of see what this is looking like and what these reductions can look like over time. We're also gonna be creating a agroforestry adoption workbook which is a resource that we can hand to a farmer and say here is a his, his groundwork, here is, here's a way to start and we'll help you along the way, but we just want to make this as accessible as possible. I'm really looking forward to putting that together and a number of our partners are either advising on or writing entire sections of that. But that can include legal frameworks for finding distributors for small producers. That can include a financial guidebook for navigating some of the funding sources for regenerative agriculture. It's really, really broad and that's, that's what we want it to be because that diversity is what will make it resilient. We're gonna be doing community events. We're gonna be doing round table meals within the communities to see, so how is this resource, how is this framework working for you? And is it viable for your community? And if not, how can we help? Over the course of this grant, we will have a tool to say, here's where you are, here's how viable the soil is, and here are some specific species that might work for you. This project is, is still beginning, and we really invite you to follow along and to join us as we work to pre preserve the Great Lakes and to respect the resources that we have via agroforestry.